Hey, you guys. So today I want to share some simple creative gift ideas that will not break the bank. So you guys know how much I love generosity, especially this time of the year. And the Christmas season, this whole holiday season really does tend to bring the best out in people in terms of giving. I think a lot of the times we think a lot of consumerism and all this, but genuinely people do want to be givers. But too much of a good thing can turn into a stressful thing if you don't have a plan for your money. And nobody wants to go broke just to give out a bunch of gifts that go unused or underappreciated. So today I want to share some of my tips and budget-friendly gift ideas that might help you get a little bit of inspiration when it comes to the season of generosity. But before we dive in, I want to tell you about one of our sponsors, Christian Healthcare Ministries. If your healthcare costs are increasing while your available choices are decreasing, make sure to check out Christian Healthcare Ministries. Christian Healthcare Ministries is a biblically-based health cost-sharing ministry, and it's an affordable alternative to health insurance. So to find out more, go to chministries.org slash budget. That's chministries.org slash budget budget. Okay, my first gift giving tip is to buy things in like a big pack and then spread out the love. So you're able to buy for a lot of people in just one purchase. And again, maybe it's a variety pack of earrings or something, and you're able to give a pair to each person. So it really helps eliminate not just the shopping experience that you have, but it also is usually less expensive. And plus, you can choose which ones remind you of each person, and it's kind of that unique twist to who they are, and I love it. And so this method is great when you need affordable gift ideas for different groups of people in your life. The second gift idea is baked goods. Listen, nobody's ever disappointed to receive homemade pumpkin bread, okay, or chocolate chip cookies, or something festive, you know, some type of dessert. People love that stuff, especially if they know you well. If you don't know people well, giving baked goods sometimes is kind of sketchy. But the people in your life that you love, Winston has been doing sourdough before the pandemic. He was on trends before it became trendy. And last year he gave out so many loaves of sourdough to people uh, that we work with and different things. So listen, some goodie bags with some festive trail mix or sugar cookies from scratch decorated by the kids or again sourdough bread or even a sourdough starter with like a special recipe on a note card like anything like that is fantastic and again it's inexpensive budget friendly and people love it the third idea is a themed gift idea so most of us can't pay hundreds of dollars to go see like a broadway play but what if you did an affordable themed movie night gift basket instead? You get a bag of popcorn, maybe a gift card to a streaming service like Netflix, you know, a Coke in there, something just like really fun and cute. And it's just a fun movie night treat. And it's kind of this themed idea. It's creative, but it's also very thoughtful. Or maybe you ever heard a relative say that they want to get better at cooking. So maybe you get a, a cookbook and a dish towel and wrap it all cute with a string. And again, very thoughtful, very creative, but it's themed, which makes it more fun. Okay, before I share the rest of my gift ideas, I wanna tell you about a game that my family and I have been loving recently, and that is Tapple. Tapple is such a fun game to play with your friends and family. It's a little competitive. There's a timer, so you gotta think on your feet, and sometimes you kind of get stumped, and you're like, ah, and everyone's yelling and screaming, and it's like, it is so much fun. There's a little bit of intensity around it, but also a lot of fun and very easy to learn and understand. So make sure to check out Tapple at Walmart and create some memories around this game because it is so fun. My fourth gift idea is to have your kids hand make something. So if you know that your kids are, you know, kind of creative or they have a thing that they love, this is a way to really give some of that creation that they have inside of them to other people. So you can pass some of maybe their their art from their classroom uh, that they've done at school. You can put it on a coffee mug. We did this for my parents one year. All of our kids' art now, it's this is so like 2023 world, but it all goes on the internet. And then there's a company that you can use to take some of these pictures that she drew and put them on like coffee mugs or t-shirts or whatever. And so we did a bunch of coffee mugs for the grandparents with her favorite picture that she drew that year. And it's just really, really sweet. Or maybe you get your kids and you get a, a picture of, you know, some you know family friends that you're giving the gift to or family. Let them decorate the frame, write a little note. I mean, there's just some ways to be, again, creative and very thoughtful. And especially when it comes to the grandparents, I don't know if you're like us, but it's like our parents, like they don't, 
they don't need anything. If they need something, they get it. And you're like, I, I don't know. So anything that has a level of sentiment to it is really, really sweet. All right, my fifth gift idea is a book maybe that you love or someone else loves. And books are usually around 20 bucks. And this is a really thoughtful gift. And it's also a great gift, especially if the person you're giving the book to is a reader. I love getting books. I love hearing what people are reading. And it's great too, because there's a lot of shops that do resale, half price books. Again, it doesn't have to be expensive in order for it to be a great gift you're able to really put some time and effort and think through, okay, what book have I loved that this person's gonna love? And that connection point is really huge. My sixth idea is to give away your skills as a gift. So let's say you're really talented at calligraphy or maybe you're uh, really good at like working with like wood pieces, which sounds really funny, but we had a friend who did this and they created a map of Tennessee out of wood and it was amazing, it was amazing. So whether it's photography or anything like that, anything that you have that you're able to give someone. So again, maybe there's a saying, a quote that you love and you can write it beautifully and frame it. Maybe you're a photographer and you can give a half hour mini session to some friends or family. I mean, anything that you can do, even your time, if you could babysit for a date night for these people, like whatever it is, again, it doesn't have to be expensive material things, but who you are and your time and your talents, those are free. And they're wonderful and people really do appreciate them. So when it comes to generosity, again, don't be afraid to get creative because the more intentional you are is the more that it means to people because you've really thought about them, the person. And generosity always takes effort, but it doesn't have to take all of your budget. And it can feel vulnerable to kind of think outside the box and do something different. But listen, it's all about the person on the other end who's receiving that gift and what they're gonna love and the thought that you you had for that person. So give some of these ideas a try this year. And when you get to December 26th or January, you're gonna think, okay, I'm glad we reined it in. Especially those of you that are getting out of debt or saving up your emergency fund. Christmas may look different this year and that's okay. So if you've never tried creating a budget, I would recommend doing it. This is a perfect time, especially when it comes to Christmas, because you're able to see, okay, what do we have to spend on gifts? Where are we at in our entire financial picture in December? And it's just a tool to give you a lot of peace and some boundaries this holiday season. And the best budgeting tool out there is every dollar. And trust me, it makes a huge difference not to overspend and to be able to say, yes, here's what we have. And you can do it with such freedom. You can enjoy spending that money, buying those gifts without second guessing anything and you're not gonna regret it on the other end, thinking, oh, we spent too much. So make sure to send this video to a friend who may need some practical, affordable gift ideas. And remember, you guys, to take control of your money and create a life you love. 